with our, our next challenge. Again, we're, we're bringing up people that, that, uh, that uh, uh, this is what they do. They are recognized. They are known for being uh, tellers of tales and, 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 and gifted storytellers. And our, our, our next presenter is, certainly fits that description. Um, enjoyed every time he's been part of the, the program and uh, tonight is no different. So please now welcome David Novak. Yeah. Yeah. in a kind of hushed silence. There was only the sound of the crunching of the earth beneath our feet. It felt like a, a cemetery. We came to a switchback that went down to the bed of the arroyo, the base of the canyon. And here and there, there were indents carved into the rock by the ancient inhabitants, steps leading down and leading out. The only sound was our occasional, do you need a hand with that? Watch this step. Or, a lizard, where? Over there. No, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> we walked, and the heat bore down. It was 
midday, the sun was high, the shade was gone. We felt ourselves baking, thirsty, as we were walking. We didn't know where, you know, a new place, an adventure in the heart of a deserted place. But we found a recess that had been walled in by the ancient inhabitants, a recess in the cl cliff wall where we could duck out of the sun, out of the oven, into the cool shade. We leaned against a cooling stone, drank some water, had a snack, and breathed the dusty, sage-scented desert air, the empty. And then we noticed that the, the light had dipped. We began to hear a wind whirring in the distance. We peered out and saw the sky darkening until the entire sky was blackened by dense cloud cover. A flash and a crash, and suddenly the giants were busting boulders all around us. We could hear thunderous echoes up and down the canyon walls, and we could feel the earth tremble, and now we were not retreating from the heat into the shade. We were cowering together in the storm. Sheets of water obscured the view of the canyon. Water came pouring down all sides around us, and we just suffered together the terror of this mighty force that we could not see but could feel and hear deafening our ears. It felt like hours, it was probably 30 minutes of heavy desert storm. And then boom, 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 moved off across the land. The sky still dark. The water now still pouring, streaming down over the canyon walls and reviving the arroyo, the riverbed that was the heart of that place when it was filled with people farming, crafting, playing, studying the stars. We stepped out now from our little recess of the canyon wall, water dripping down, feeling its freshness, hearing the sound, the music that the water makes, and then other sounds began to fill the air, buzzing, and a trill. We could see a, a canyon wren hopping in and out of the crevices there, chasing after something, and the air was moist and rich and filled with fresh floral scents, and tiny little Brilliant flowers, bright yellow dots covered the soil, and red dots here and there, and glistening juniper, and in the shade of one, a little chipmunk gathering juniper berries. Life had suddenly risen up out of that cryptobiosis, that hidden life that was lying there expectantly for the rain. Up it came, and we could hear people talking and laughter, and it felt as if the ghosts of the ancestors had arisen with the rain when we saw it was just another family and their child running <laughs> and exploring the canyon. <laughs> we stood there marveling at the suddenness of life, feeling its eagerness in the rain that had come. The sound of running water can revive life. It can also inspire the bladder. So she went up to the business. <laughs> but I stood there. And I watched as the river flowed past. And the sun began to break through the clouds. And the light of the sun illuminated that mysterious weaving shape that running water makes. Have you ever looked at the way it braids and weaves? 
I couldn't help but think as I was looking at that water and how it was braiding itself as it came falling down across the desert rocks. Whether or not the first people there had also marveled at that pattern and incorporated it into their own weaving and their own designing and their own crafting. But the water drained out. The sun broke the storm, its warm rays comforting, and then its renewed heat discomforting. I could feel myself begin to burn, and I could see the water steam up from the stones, and life went back into hiding. But I understood what it would be like Standing there, having had the rain, yearning for it to come back. And still, all these years later, I stand in long seasons of drought, full of hidden life, yearning for the returning of the rain. Mm -hmm.